Hello, Anomaly here, and welcome to another Mistweaver commentary. Today we're talking about Heroic Sisters of the Moon in the Tomb of Sargeras instance. So this is going to end up being more than likely the fifth boss um, you guys go after. Um, and it has some pretty, mo pretty cool mechanics. The room they're in is actually very small, um, and I don't know what any of it does. So let's jump in, see how we did in Heroic, and kind of take it from there. Um, so... Yeah, Sisters of the Moon, um, basically you fight three sisters, uh, they all come out at different health percentages, um, kind of fight them one at a time, I'm assuming on like Mythic or something ridiculous, you fight all three at once, but um, you kind of start with the, the first sister and go from there. Um, the room does have a pretty cool mechanic where um, the floor slowly kind of goes from dark to light or moon to day phase, I guess you could say. Um, and then you get like a stacking debuff each time, or for every second you're like stuck on a specific um, light or dark color. So, um, any event kind of move, you can roll back and forth, you can reset as much as you want. There's no actual explosion or damage every time you reset. So, as you can see there, I kind of you know, twitched back and forth, reset as much as I could, um, just to kind of keep the debuff stacks low. I think even on heroic, it doesn't do damage until like 15 or 16. So. The only thing, um, so yeah, so kind of getting into the fight here, uh, you know, of course, this is kind of the big mechanic you need to heal, which is like bubbles going everybody. Um, you know, we kind of, I popped Velens and, uh, Velens and Manatee with this, uh, Essence Vaughn, things like that to try and get those off of as many people as possible. Um, so yeah, so the more you can do to kind of get those off people, the better. You can also see here, I, my weak aura is pulse setting. I actually didn't know what that was, but apparently the boss puts like a big AOE pulsing thing on the ground. Uh, circle that you have to dodge. Um, you know, I just have a ton of difficulty seeing it. Like you can see it in the lower right hand corner here, but um, you know, at the time I had no idea what that was. So a um, little bit of a, a mess up on my um, clearing there. As you can see, there's a bunch of raid damage this one out. Could have popped Chi Burst through the melee. Um, I did uh, Refreshing Jade Wind, which was... or no, Sorry, I did not Refreshing Jade Wind, but you definitely should have done that at this point. Um, doing it now with all these debuffs on everybody, probably a good idea. Um, I think I ended up popping, like... Uh, popping Revival for that. I did, so... As you can see here, we lose a ton of the raid, and it's to those... Um, to both the AoE on the ground, which we did move out of, and then there's, like, a blade storm that goes out uh the bunch of spinning sorry glaive storm that goes out a bunch of different glaives so didn't dodge that lost the people lost the tank i did get a chance to cool down the tank which i think was good saved at least our warrior i did not have anything available to save our paladin but um you know it would have been would have been what we wanted to do there so uh, continue to kind of use um you know velens use your just your cooldowns as you can um, I'm a big proponent of, you know, if there's really not going to be a huge amount of damage going out, particularly this is going to be the case within Mythic, or sorry, within Heroic that we're doing now, um, kind of use your cooldowns as they come up. I mean, don't really save them for anything. It would be nice to have a Velens here for this, but it's not too, too imperative. Um, as you can see, like, we've, we're taking a ton of damage. Everybody's standing in that AoE. <laughs> Nobody's moving. I don't pop Refreshing Jade Wind. Or I do, sorry, I did pop it there, so I mean... There's definitely um, some damage patterns and things that, as a as you kind of look at this fight on Heroic, you can do a little bit better than I did. We kind of yoloed it a little bit, didn't really understand exactly what was going on for a lot of the fight, so um, definitely don't do what I did and, and understand some of the abilities that are going out. So I think the only really key one here in Heroic is the kind of healing debuff you have to get off of everybody, and just making sure you have something available then, whether that's you know villains into Manatee, whether it's you know, a revival, whether it's if you have the chance, like, innervates, which I don't think I've used, maybe I've used one innervate so far, definitely should probably call for another one right around here, um, even just, if, even if it's just to kind of keep your mana, um, you know, gain some mana back, right, so you can cast, even people don't need healing, we end up having two innervates for most of these fights, you know, using those to, to kind of gain as much mana as you can is, is definitely um, something you want to look to do, so... As you can see, I've left these innervates on, cooled on for a while. Velen's the same way. Um, I believe I was kind of waiting for the next big uh, AoE damage to come up that never came, so kind of pop it here, put out an Essence font that was largely wasted, um, but the fight's potentially over. we got 25% left, and I have two innervates available to me, so um, kind of spammed out a little bit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have, but... 
Uh, so yeah, so I mean, it's at this point we're just kind of keeping keeping your Rams on cooldown. Resetting the debuff when you can is definitely good, particularly in this case. I think in the third phase the floor actually moves slower, so you know resetting right at the end there was a was probably a good move by myself. So. Uh, and just saying in melee, I think this is going to be like I think a lot of people underestimate. Yes, yeah, this is Glavestorm just just crushing our raid. Should have popped revival slightly earlier than I did. Um, but I think people underestimate from a monk's perspective uh, actually being in melee. Like there's a lot of incidental healing goes out through um, through the breath, through just um, through the breath and through um, just like the mists of Shailun, I believe it's called the the random AOE proc that kind of procs and does damage for you. So or sorry, does healing around you. Um, so yeah, so definitely being in melee, being clumped up is is much preferable. So than just kind of hanging out and sitting in range. Even if you don't do damage, being there gives you um, kind of just enough incidental healing that it's it's worth it. So into your very low on mana, ended up did ended up did using or ended up using both of those innervates uh, and still ended really low. Um, I cast a lot of effuses here at the end just because I have no mana. You know, effuse into Shaylun's back and forth is is fairly mana neutral. Um, pop my mana to here, get a couple more. Um, vivifies off under manatee and we do end up taking the boss down i i kind of cool down the the person who had aggro at that point but all in all this was kind of a sloppy fight for us i think this is like i said with the last fight this is where the instance on heroic starts to get uh, a little bit more difficult the fights start to ramp up a little bit so definitely need to, to pay a little bit more attention to the actual mechanics and what's happening which you know we definitely were we're not doing there so uh, in any event, um, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little preview video, or not really preview, this little video. Um, definitely, if you have any comments, suggestions, leave them below. Uh, and if you have any just general monk questions or, or want to ask about some of the other specs, if you find this video, head over to Pika Serenity in Discord. Everybody over there is super helpful. Um, and other than that, thank you very much for watching, and we will talk to you later. Bye.